Hi there, welcome back. So have you ever wondered why you have to check that little box when you rent a car that says you're over 25? I mean, we, the driving, the legal driving age in most states is 16. So why do you think they make you wait almost 10 years before you can rent a car? Turns out that the folks at Hertz and Enterprise might actually be using neuroscience to inform their policy. Not too long ago, we thought that the brain was pretty much done cooking by about adolescence, and that long-standing assumption aligned with the first rite of passage to adulthood in driving a car. But now we know that the prefrontal cortex, or the part of the brain that's right here behind your forehead, is responsible for executive function, decision-making, and impulse control. And we've learned that it's actually the last part of the brain to fully develop, and that doesn't happen until about our mid-20s. Most people know that we have a left brain and a right brain, but did you also know that we have an upstairs brain and a downstairs brain? The downstairs brain, or the subcortical region, is located kind of behind your mouth, and it um, is from, goes from the base of your spine to the bridge of your nose. It's actually the first part of the brain to develop, and it's responsible for all those things we do without thinking. Heart rate, and breathing, and blinking, <clears throat> and strong negative emotions like anger and fear. And it actually takes over when you're in fight, flight, or freeze mode to prepare the body for survival. The downstairs brain is in charge of survival. The upstairs brain is much more sophisticated. It's made up of the cerebral cortex and it's responsible for rational thought and planning and decision making. And it's the part of the brain that helps us decide how to respond to stress and fear and anxiety. And we'd like to think that our upstairs brain is in charge all of the time, wouldn't we? The limbic system is the part of the brain that sits right in the middle of the upstairs brain in the downstairs brain. And it's in charge of motivation, emotion, learning, and memory. And the way it works is that it releases different neurotransmitters depending on whether we're happy or feeling connected and bonding with other people or stressed, fearful, and anxious. Much of the research about the adolescent brain development lately has focused on that maturation of the prefrontal cortex. Although we're really starting to expand work to explore ways in which we can increase that neural connectivity all the, throughout our lives. And it's what scientists call experience-dependent neuroplasticity. It's really a hot area of research right now. Several years ago, they studied the brains of London taxi drivers. And uh, the streets of London are really this big labyrinth that really make no sense. And these cab drivers have to memorize uh, the, the city streets before they can become a black cab driver. And what we now know is that they have developed neuro, thicker neural layers in their hippocampus than you and I do. And that's the region of the brain that helps you make visual spatial memories. So much like building a muscle, the more you exercise different parts of the brain, the more they grow. The brain is the organ that learns. So it's designed to be changed by your experiences and not just in what we do, but also in how we think and feel. And whatever we repeatedly sense and think and feel and want, slowly but surely sculpts the neural structure in the brain. See, we can control that by choosing what we pay attention to. Mental states become neural traits. And day after day, what you choose to focus on impacts what's happening in your brain. If you choose to focus on the stress and the anxiety and the negative things around you, it's going to require an ongoing flow of cortisol to deal with it. All that cortisol over time shrinks and kills brain cells. On the other hand, if you're paying attention to the positive experiences that make you feel happy and grateful and connected, you actually turn off the cortisol tap and your thinking rational brain is humming along, happy, sipping a refreshing cocktail of all those good neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine and oxytocin. It's amazing, isn't it? So today, pay attention to what you pay attention to because that is what's shaping your brain. Want to learn more about how the brain works and how we can make it work better? Check out my book, Happy Hour with Einstein. And remember, life is always better when you share the good stuff.